Hello everybody, Dino here from awesometools.com. In this tutorial we are going to create and animate dice like this one with the Blender 2.8. Also our academy started creating Blender 2.8 courses and so far we got 6 on our website and every week we will release a new course so make sure you check it and let's begin. As I said before in this tutorial we are going to create a dice and we are also going to animate it. So first thing we need to open our blender and if you don't have blender you can get it from blender.org which is their website and as you can see here now blender is officially on 2.8 and if you didn't try it my advice is to get it and try it because this software is amazing. It's absolutely free so you don't need to pay anything and you can create a lot of stuff. So the first thing we need to create a new file. I'm going here under new file I'm going to press general let me just go full screen and turn on my screencast so you can see what I'm pressing and typing I'm going to hide this by pressing N and as you can see here we got our default cube and for this tutorial we are going to keep this default cube and the first thing we need to give materials to it so go here under materials and we are going to give a pure white material so go here under RGB and everything set to number one so it's pure white and the next thing we are going to go in edit mode you can go in edit mode by pressing tab on keyboard or you can go here and the next thing we are going to subdivide our cube by pressing right click and pick subdivide and here we are going to change number of cuts to 4 and now we got our cube subdivided the next thing we are going to change to face select and if you press with the left click you will be able to select one of these faces by pressing by holding shift you can select more faces and that's what we are going to do next so we are going to select numbers for our dice and on the first face we are going to select only one, on the opposite side is number 6, on the side is number 2, on the other side of the number 2 is 5, and here is number 3, 4, and we got our numbers for our dice. The next thing we are going to insert face in our numbers by pressing I on keyboard and we are going to make it something like this by holding shift you can be more precise and if you go here where the number 6 is you can see that it's not correct so make sure that you pick here individual and the next thing we are going to change our pivot point to be individual origin the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to extrude our faces by pressing E on keyboard and by holding shift we can be more precise and we are going to extrude just a little bit something like this and here you can uh, change the direction and depth of your extrude something like this And the next thing we are going to go here under select and we are going to select more and we are going to create a new materials here under materials we are going to press plus and we are going to create a new material and change color to red and don't forget to press assign to assign materials to selected faces. And if you go here now, if you go in render at view, you can see that we got something like this. So now we are going to give to our uh, dice uh, modifier, which is subdivision surface. So go here under this tool, which is for uh, which is icon for modifiers, and select subdivision surface, and change number. Uh, of subdivision to number three because we want to be more uh, more high quality dice and change uh, in viewport as well so we got something like this 
and by pressing right click on it change from shade flat to uh, shade smooth and as you can see here we created our dice so the next thing we are going to go in look dev mode by holding z and move it here to look dev mode or you can switch here at the top so let's go in front orthographic view by pressing number one on your numpad and move this cube up by pressing G and lock on Z axis so it's moving only up and down to about here and now we are going to deselect our cube and by pressing shift and seam you are going to be sure that your 3D cursor is here in the middle where we are going to create our ground for our animation and now we are going to press shift and A and under mesh we are going to create a plane and we are going to scale this up by pressing S to something like this and now let's give materials to it so go here under materials create a new one and you can choose your base color for your animation for now we are going to keep something like this this blue and now let's go in front orthographic view by pressing 1 on keyboard and by the way by the way if you don't have numpad on your keyboard or laptop you can go here under edit preferences and under input you can emulate your numpad and blender will recognize your numbers on keyboard above uh, above letters as the numbers of numpad so let's zoom in I mean zoom out and by holding shift and right click we can move our 3d cursor and we are going to move it to about here and by press, pressing shift and a we are going to create a new plane under mesh and we are going to scale this on y axis by pressing s and y to lock it on y and we are going to scale this up maybe a little bit on X as well by pressing S and X and now we are going go to go back in orthographic view by pressing 1 and we are going to re rotate this something like this and now here under properties panel make sure that you are going to enable this this icon here which is going to disable display for displaying object from uh, rendering so if you render this image right now this object is not going to be rendered if you turn off this and this plane will be our obstacle which will give rotation to our dice and now we need to give physics to our scene so select this ground plane and go here under physic which is this icon here and we are going to give it rigid body and change type from active to, pa to passive and also for this one the same rigid and our dice is going to be active type now let me just move this up so we can see our timeline better and if you go in front orthographic view by pressing 1 you and, pre and move our dice up by pressing G and lock on Z axis and if you press play animation you can see that our dice is going to fall down so let's go back on our first frame and if you move dice on X above this plane here and play animation you can see that it's going to hit the display and get some rotation let's go back on first frame and the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to to give our dice a new modifier so make sure that you apply subdivision and we are going to give it a wave modifier and now if you play this animation you can see that our cube is going to behave like a, it's made of jelly now we are going to decrease number of frames for our mini animation and we are going to set it to 144 because we want 6 seconds long animation and if you go here under output 
you can see that frame rate is 24 and if you multiply multiply uh, 24 with number 6 is going to be 144 so now let's go back on our first frame and let's set our camera so we are going to go here and select camera and we are going to move it somewhere here and also give rotation and if you press 0 you can see what this camera is looking at and now let's play our animation and see if it's good no it's not let's go back on our first frame and if you press shift and grave key on keyboard which is uh, about tap this grave key you will enter in fly, fly mode where you will be able to control your uh, camera by pressing W, A, S and D. Let's see what we got here. It's not good yet. So let's go back on our first frame and let's change our scene a little bit more. So first thing, let's select this obstacle here and move it up by pressing G and lock on Z axis to move it up. And also we are going to move our cube a little bit up as well. Let's play animation, see what we got. Now it's a little bit better. So let's go back on our first frame and we are going to enter in camera view by pressing zero. And now with shift and grave, we can move our camera to get some nice, nice frame. Let's play animation. Now it's much better, that's the effect that we want and we need to scale our ground a little bit up. Now let's go in rendered view to see how everything is looking. As you can see it's not good because we need to move our light closer to our dice. So let's go in top orthographic view by pressing 7 on an numpad and we are going to select light and move it closer to about here and also we are going to increase power to 1500 something like this and now let's go back in camera view by pressing 0 and let's play, an play our animation it's a little bit long so we are going to decrease number of frames to 120 so let's play again. Now it's much better. Also if you select dice and go here under modifier list, you can control this way modifier that we add before. So for example you can turn on normals, as you can see here, it's going to do this effect. You can also turn off and on some of the axes. As you can see here. So we got different effects that we can control. And here you can control speed and height as well. Now let's go in solid view because we can see better what we are doing. So we are going to decrease speed to 0 0.23 actually. Now let's play animation and see what we got. And this is the effect that I would like to keep. So let's go now in rendered view to see how it's looking. And let's turn overlays. That's it what I would like to render. And now let's stop animation and go on our first frame. And here under render settings we are going to turn ambient occlusion, bloom and also screen space reflection. So now let's play our animation and see how everything is looking so far. It's looking good and our animation is ready to be rendered. So go here under output and we are going to change file format to AV, JPEG. And we are going to increase quality to 100% and here under output you can choose destination of your animation so I'm going to save it on desktop 
and here under render you can press render animation and your rendering is going to begin. And this is our final animation that we created in Blender 2.8. I hope you like it and if you do please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you didn't let me know in the comments below and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!